In the horrific and expansive world of Resident Evil, which includes games and movies, the terror isn't confined to just dark hallways and abandoned mansions. There are also quite a collection of underwater and aquatic abominations. These aquatic monsters, born from the series' notorious bioweapons research and genetic manipulation, embody the essence of the series' signature blend of science fiction and horror. So here in this video we will showcase 10 biggest aquatic bioweapons and monsters from its long history in the gaming sphere as well as cinematic trials. So let's get to it. At number 10 we have the Hunter Gamma. Nicknamed as Froggers by the developers, Hunter Gammas are a human amphibian hybrid that were created by bonding human DNA with a fertilized amphibian egg along with the T virus. The Hunter Gamma has no eyes nor teeth but instead it has a large mouth that allows it to swallow its prey whole. And it also has small claws on their webbed hands. The Outbreak series version can lift a 200 pound human and swallow him whole despite it being only 6 feet tall. Number 9. The Sea Creeper Also referred to as Eve, these are a mutation derived from female humans exposed to the T-Abyss virus. They are primarily aquatic monsters that can swim very fast and the carapace covering the whole body is reminiscent of a woman's long hair, helping it to reduce friction and allowing them to swim quietly and gracefully when approaching their prey on the water. They have six limbs, a ribcage that can open like a mouth with full of sharp teeth, and they are around 2 meters or 6.5 feet in length. Number 8. The Globster The Globster is an irregular mutant created through the T-Abyss virus. Their name is short for Grotesque Blob Monster. They are a result of humans being infected with the T-Abyss virus and were transformed into these horrendous monsters. The creature is little else than a large blob of diseased meat with a gaping mouth full of sharp teeth on its underside. It has no limbs, no eyes, not even a skeletal structure. They are also around 3 meters or 10 feet in length. Number 7. The Neptune The Neptune series of BOWs or bio-organic weapons were simply great white sharks that were created specifically to test the effects of the T-virus in the very early experimental stages on sea creatures. The sharks became larger, faster with increased intelligence, vision and hearing as well as being able to jump out of the water and snap up prey. Most of these sharks were small to begin with and they grew to around 16 feet long. Number 6. Berzak This was a human-based BOW or a bio-organic weapon created by the sea virus. It was encountered within the depths of the ancient catacombs that lie under the tall oaks church. This monster appeared to be a mutated bull shark but was in fact just a mutated human. But how exactly the rest of its shock features and its shock-like body was formed remains unknown, but its size was recorded to be around 9 meters or 30 feet in length. Number 5. The Infected Alligators So this was a result of a number of alligators that were infected during the Raccoon City destruction incident deep beneath the sewers. One such alligator was infected with the T-virus and became a very large mutant that grew to immense proportions. Its origins was as a baby which, like the urban legends, was flushed down the toilets. Its size estimate was up to approximately 10 meters or around 33 feet in length. At number 4 we have the Del Lago. This horrendous creature was seen in Resident Evil 4 and it was a massive amphibian infected with a plaga in a lake situated in the Val de Lobos area in Spain. It was one of the earlier plaga experiments by the Los Illuminados. The Del Lago was a salamander that became host to the plaga parasite, and that organism, the plaga, reacted to its small host by mutating it, increasing its size considerably, attaining an adult size of 20 meters or 65 feet long, as big as a sperm whale. Number 3. The Giant Crocodile The Giant Crocodile was seen in a Netflix series and it was a saltwater crocodile that had been infected with the T-virus and it grew to a gargantuan size. It was created by infection with the T-virus and was kept in tow underwater behind a ship for quite a number of years as a weapon of last resort and intended to be awoken only in extreme circumstances. When it emerged on land it was seen to be having a bulge on its back as well as having a secondary tail and with a size estimate of 30 meters or 100 feet. Number 2. The Mutated Dylan Megalodon Dylan Blake was a former mercenary hired as an Umbrella Security Service Operative. In 2015, in Resident Evil Death Island, he would become a bioterrorist known for his involvement in the Alcatraz Island outbreak, planning to reset society through a modified T-virus. 
his injection of the T-Virus and merging with an infected Megalodon, a shark that was infected with another virus, resulted in a gigantic streamlined amorphous abomination that can swim at great speeds and had a very resilient body that was durable to even plasma and rocket weaponry. The total size of this creature is unknown but can be estimated to be around 45 meters or around 150 feet long. And the biggest, the Malakota. So the Malakota is the penultimate boss in Resident Evil Revelations. It is a mass of monstrous parasitic worms created through the power of the T-Abyss virus. So a larval Malakota is only 1 centimeter long, but the size to which the Malakota larva can grow or can develop depends on the size of the hose. The bigger its hose, the bigger it can grow. So in the end, it was theorized that the Malakota larva infected a whale that allowed them to achieve the size of 200 feet or 61 meters. And so those are the 10 biggest underwater monsters and bioorganic weapons of Resident Evil. Now if you like this video then watch this other one as well and do check out our channel for other monster content. Like, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.